The Gabriel synthesis is a four-step reaction that can be used to create a primary amine. I'm going to show you the mechanism for this reaction. It's actually pretty cool. Before I get into the mechanism, I do want to let you know that in some situations, in some textbooks, um, instead of steps three and four, H3O plus and OH minus, they combine this as one step of just NH2, NH2. So some textbooks use a four-step process. Some textbooks use a three-step process like this. So the mechanism starts with this big, beautiful molecule doing um, deprotonation with the hydroxide base. So it's a straightforward acid-base reaction to begin with. These are big molecules to draw. Um, so that's going to give us this intermediate right here. And this guy is going to do an SN2 reaction with our alkyl halide. So this is going to put the R group onto this nitrogen, and it is going to give us a cool little amide. So look at, we have um, right here, we have our amide with an R group present. And then, um, so that's step one and step two. In step three, we're going to use H3O+. And this H3O+, is just simply going to be used to hydrolyze the amide. So this will be an amide hydrolysis reaction. I'm not going to draw the mechanism for the amide hydrolysis process. It's a reaction that you learned when we were studying carboxylic acid derivatives. It's used to convert the amide into a carboxylic acid. The carboxylic acid is not what we're trying to make. So at this point, we don't care about the carboxylic acid anymore. The other product of the amide hydrolysis reaction comes from this piece of the molecule, breaking off and that's going to give us an NR with two hydrogens on it. Um, so like that. Now this is this is the molecule that we are hoping to make right there. Unfortunately, because this molecule is a base and we're using this H3O plus to, to do the hydrolysis reaction, we are going to get some of that H3O plus protonating our amine. That's not what we want to have happen, but we can't really control it. So we're going to end up with an ammonium ion, which is what we don't want. And this is why in the fourth step of the reaction, we use hydroxide ion. The hydroxide ion is just going to give us back the product that we actually want, the amine that we actually want. So we'll bring hydroxide in one more time. And the job of the hydroxide is to just get rid of that unwanted proton and give us our desired product. 